Am I the a-hole for publicly telling my widowed sister I'll never move on, like she did? Throw away for privacy. My sister Jane and I's husbands passed away together in an accident six years ago. Jane and her first husband have two children. Jane remarried around a year after the passing and went on to have two more kids with a new husband. I have three teenager kids from my late husband. I had a dated since the accident and I don't plan to. I know this is controversial for many, and I seriously don't need my comments overflown with people telling me it's okay to love again. I know it is. Please. I have no interest. I have done tons of therapy as have our kids. Nothing is directly wrong with me. I have my one big life altering love and I'm okay with going the rest of my life reminiscing that. My family has over the years tried to set me up, give me speeches and otherwise convince me to find a new romantic partner. I have tried everything to shut it down, but they are adamant I need to date again. Because of their constant pressure, I've distanced myself a lot. I still see them mostly for the kids' sake. I'm also very close to my in-laws and my husband's entire family. My parents hosted a birthday dinner for my mom and during dinner, Jane once again asked when I was gonna start dating and listed friends of her new husband who she thought suitable. I told her no and to please drop it, to which Jane replied with, it's been over six years, you need to get over it and move on. At this, I kind of snapped, stood up and firmly told her that I wasn't ever going to move on. And just because she wanted to remarry in less than a year doesn't mean I ever have to. The entire table went quiet and Jane started yelling and insulting me. My kids also got progressively angrier with Jane and before everyone blew up, I got us home. My family is texting all kinds of things from your sister is right, time to move on to it was cruel of you to shame Jane. I have never commented on the fact that Jane moved on until this instance, but I felt my comment was fair given the circumstance. The guilt tripping is however getting to me and I'm wondering if I truly did something wrong here. So I ask you guys, am I the a-hole? We hope you enjoyed not just this video but have a chance to check out the rest on our YouTube channel. Also consider supporting us on our Patreon. Check our link for all our accounts and ways to reach out to us.